I'm going to hit right in the, in the center here. So let's see where we are. Let's first of all change our setting back to center, which is fine by me. Okay. I'm going to change my Resolute 4K 30. Let's also do, in this case, let's do 10-bit HLG. That's fine. Our video codec is ProRes 422. Okay. Um, our white balance, we're going to lock. ISO is low. We're at 30 frames per second. So we're at 4K 30. All right. If we go to suitcases, we can look at our display scopes. See what we actually have here. We're looking pretty good. Right there. We can press record. Let's just see what we get. It's a beautiful sunrise. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. We can press record. Let's just see what we get. It's a beautiful sunrise. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. All right, so I wanted to just show you how the image comes straight out of the camera because we use ProRes uh, HLG. This is exactly how it looks right out of camera. And you can see here that we, after a little bit of color grading, we can make it quite dramatic. And this is how it actually looked in the morning. It was about 7.30 in the morning. The sky was bright red. And after a couple of minutes, it went really very, very pink. So I'm using Adobe Premiere. You can use whatever you normally use. I am in the editing mode, so I'm going to go to color. Let's see what we can do. I'm also going to open up these Lumetri scopes here. And this happens to be the waveform Luma. So this is, shows you all of your brightness. This down at zero is blacks. I put a hundred of the whites. Now you can see that all the whites look sort of, you know, not so much blown out, but it, HLG is a large dynamic range. So it gets a lot of the dark areas like the reflection in this tree and the bright sky, even though it's very early in the morning. So what we wanted to do, you can see you can bring the sky back. So let's see how we could do that with a very simple set of adjustments. So I've got a basic adjustment. And we have this without giving you a premier lesson at the moment. If the blacks, this is where you would start. If the blacks are way down too low, you can see everything is, if they're around zero, they're way too black. So we wanna raise, just if you don't know, by the way, double click on this, goes back to zero. So you want to drag that so the scope, let's raise them a little bit. So they're about anywhere between 10 and around five, All right? So that means that the blacks are not getting too blown out. And if we have a quick look at that, if we zoom in, take a look at that tree, maybe even if we go a little bit more, like 150. we zoom right in let's take a look here we have some detail here in the darks but if i drag that really down low look it goes pitch black if i drag it up really high you can see more of the tree but it's just sort of milky 
All right, so let's start again here. And what we're gonna do is just, just look at the scope and we're down around zero. So we wanna just raise them up a little bit, around about five. And that looks fine. So I'm gonna go back to fit. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do here is whites. So whites are the highest part of the, of the scale here, the scope. So if I take that and if I go up and up and up, we're gonna see, look how we're totally blown out. Look at the trees. Okay, and you get this massive white line here. So we don't want that. So we're gonna bring that back down. It should be around 90 is sort of good right here. So we're not moving very much at all. And then the shadows are down in this area here. We're just going to take a look whether we should bring them up a little bit or down. You can see it makes the tree in this area get brighter. But uh, I want them quite dark. I'm just gonna raise them just a little bit looking at that. Then the highlights, this is this mid range here. So again, all, all the whites up at the top, all the blacks at the bottom, shadows down this end, mid tones in the middle, highlights up in this quarter here, this third up here. So let's look at the highlights and we can see what that does to the picture. Now you can see if I drag the highlights down and we look at the picture, the scope comes down and we start getting detail in the sky. So if I put it back to where it was at 100 or zero here and I take it higher, we lose detail in the sky. So I wanna bring that down just a little bit, looking at this scope here. And then contrast is the color. So we take contrast down, gets, it compresses the scope and basically looks more washed out. And then if I drag it up, we get a lot more saturation. So I want to just, let's go back to the beginning. And I want to just raise that contrast a little bit. So that's what I can do here. Now the other thing you can do in Adobe Premiere is if you pick the little white balance picker. I know that this boat here on this rail is white. So that's telling me that, if I go in a little bit more, the edge of that boat is white. So picking that again, if I reset these, just by double clicking them, I can select that, click on something white, and that's what I'm telling the image that this is actually white. So let's do fit again. Now, the other thing that I would do here is I can go to creative and curves. And what I can do is drag these. This is blacks. And again, it's just like this. The curve is for this white curve. This is everything RGB. So red, green, and blue is overlaid, make white. This is, if I click on this down towards this area, I'm moving the dark areas in the scene. And if I move the areas up here are moving the highlights in the scene. So if I go very bright again, we're moving this. I can double click on this. So I'm just gonna move a little bit of, a little bit whichever way I wanna go. I quite like that. So I get a lot of the red glows and I get a lot of the, of the image where it shines a lot of the reds and the tones and the, we can see the sky. So if I click on this FX, this is before, straight at the camera. This was a, a little bit of color grading. So just by doing a little bit, not too much, and we still stayed in this Luma waveform um, below 100 and above zero. Now if we look here, this is getting really close to zero. That's fine, it's just saying that it's, I quite like the dark look, but if I wanted to change that, I would put a point here and then drag this guy up a little bit. If I can grab it. It's quite tricky sometimes. 
There you go. So now you can see I've actually raised the, the blacks and the dark areas. So again, that would be my before and after with a little bit of tweaking. And if I'm on this here, we can take a look at that in a larger view. And again, I can do before and after. Just a quick color grade. All right, there you go. Driving by really was spur of the moment, wasn't planned. I drove by this lake and it was like just there in front of me. So I thought, parked the car, jumped out, and it literally took five minutes before all this just turned to a light pink. So way brighter than this. It was getting brighter and brighter by the, by the minute. All right. That's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next video.